Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube. Travel by any mode of transportation certainly carries risks, especially when using marine transportation such as ships. Accidents, human error, weather factors and attacks from other parties become their own problems in travelling by ship. So far, we have only assumed that the Titanic shipwreck was the deadliest and largest incident at sea. However, it turns out that event is not the only most tragic in the world. Here are the biggest shipwreck tragedies in world history, besides the sinking of the Titanic, even claiming more lives than the Titanic tragedy. One of the biggest ship tragedies in history is the sinking of the Sewol Ferry, which occurred in 2014. At the time of the incident, the Sewol Ferry was carrying the majority of students from Danwon High School, Anson, South Korea. This accident became one of the horrifying tragedies remembered by the Korean society at that time. According to reports, the incident caused by the negligence of the ship's captain claimed the lives of about 304 passengers and crew members. The sinking of the Suol Ferry began when it sailed from Incheon to Jeju Island, South Korea. At that time, the Suol Ferry was carrying 476 people, the majority of whom were Danwon High School students from Anson City on a field trip. In the morning, the passengers were enjoying breakfast served in the cafeteria. At the same time, the ship began to enter the Mangal Strait, known for its very strong underwater currents. Not long after entering the bridge, the ship was controlled by an inexperienced third mate and had to face the most challenging waters. After that, the ship suddenly made a very sharp turn, then capsized and sank off the coast of Jindo Island. During the incident, no emergency calls were made by the crew. Fortunately, there was one student who made a call to the local fire station for help. After that, several rescue helicopters rushed to the location to carry out the rescue. Not only that, dozens of soldiers and hundreds of divers were also deployed to search for passengers and crew who were victims. Not only that, the rescue process also received assistance from the United States warship, USS Bonham Richard, which was patrolling the area at the time. From the rescue results, as many as 304 passengers and crew were found dead, and only 172 people were successfully rescued. When the Suol Ferry had an accident and caused the ship to sink, there was an interesting discovery in the rescue process. The ship, which sank in a tilted position, caused the cabins inside the ship to overturn, so the divers had to navigate through narrow corridors to search for victims. In the search, the divers found about 48 bodies huddled in one of the narrow rooms wearing life jackets. The Navy captain, who helped save the Suol Ferry, explained that it was suspected that many passengers were trapped when the ship tilted and began to sink, Although the location of the victims was found, the divers had difficulty in evacuating the bodies found. The overturned condition of the ship and everything floating became a major obstacle for the divers to carry out the rescue. The incident involving the sinking of the Suol Ferry is considered the largest tragedy in South Korean maritime history. This was what prompted an investigation to uncover the cause of the tragic event. In the investigation, officials detained the captain and crew who were suspected of being negligent in operating the Sewol Ferry. In addition, investigators were also looking for 20 organizations affiliated with the ferry operator. On January 27, 1981, precisely about 42 years ago, Indonesia mourned due to an incident that sank the motorized crossing ship. KMP, Tampomas 2. According to reports, Tampomas 2 sank in the Masalembo waters, Java Sea, Indonesia. Managed by Pelni Limited motorized crossing ship Tampomas was one of the sea vessels serving inter-island passengers, previously used for Hajj journeys. The ship departed from Jakarta carrying 1,054 passengers and 82 crew members. However, when in the waters near the Mazalembo Islands, north of Kanjian Island, East Java, the ship caught fire. 
According to the Directorate General of Sea Transportation at the time, in bad weather conditions, passengers panicked, causing some to jump into the sea. Knowing that Tampomas was on fire, Pelney ships or other nearby ships were ordered to approach and provide assistance. Despite various rescue efforts, Tampomas had to sink. The ship, with a dead weight of 2,420 tons, sank in the Makassar Strait near Masalembo Island, about 22 nautical miles before reaching the destination port of Ujung Pandang. By nightfall, 566 people were successfully rescued onto the ships that came to help. However, the rescue efforts for the victims of Tampoma Saku were hindered by bad weather. One of the challenges was large waves reaching 7 to 10 meters, strong winds and rain, which hindered the rescue process. To this day, the sinking of Tampomas is remembered as a heartbreaking humanitarian tragedy. This incident is recorded as the largest disaster in national maritime history and also the third largest disaster in the world at that time. According to the investigation conducted by the related parties, the accident was said to have originated from a spark in the vehicle cabin, which then grew and spread throughout the ship. The fire was suspected to be due to the low discipline of passengers and crew regarding sailing safety, including not adhering to smoking bans in certain places. In addition, the sinking of Tampomas was also due to the crew not understanding the usage and procedures of all rescue equipment. In 1987, a quite heartbreaking incident occurred, the tragedy of a collision between large ships. The ships involved were the Dona Paz Ferry, weighing 2,215 tons, and the oil tanker MT Victor, weighing about 629 tons in the Philippines. This ship collision is considered the worst maritime disaster in the world, as it killed around 4,386 people with only 26 individuals being rescued. According to reports, there were 1,000 unregistered passengers under the age of four, as well as 1,000 military passengers, or about one battalion, boarding last before departure. It is said that the accident on Dona Paz, which sailed from Late Island in central Philippines, occurred due to the ship owner's negligence towards passenger safety and a greater emphasis on business aspects. A military officer who survived the accident recounted that when he, along with 1,000 military and police officers, boarded Dona Paz, the ship appeared to tilt to one side due to overloading. Moreover, he mentioned that an explosion occurred when both ships collided and fire spread very quickly due to the spill from MT Victor, carrying over 8,000 barrels of gasoline and kerosene. Some people ran to the lower deck to avoid the flames and thick smoke. Others chose to jump into the sea, but the sea water was hot because the oil spill also caught fire in the ocean. Even the flames could reach people up to a distance of one kilometer. The situation worsened when the night winds further spread the fire. Thus, the victims who jumped into the sea had to swim quickly to avoid the fire and the increasingly hot seawater. Before swimming in the hot sea, people smeared with oil had to scramble to find a way out to save themselves. At that time, the survivors had to swim for more than an hour to avoid the fire and the harsh seawater. Later, they were rescued with nets from the ship Dona Claudio. The survivors suffered severe burns and their skin blistered. In 1948, China was enveloped in sorrow due to the tragic accident of the ship Qiangya, which suffered a fatal accident. It is said that at the time, the passenger steamship exploded and sank at the mouth of the Huangpu River, about 80 kilometers from Shanghai. Upon learning of the explosion and sinking of the ship, the Chinese government endeavored to carry out rescue operations as quickly as possible. Rescue officers were immediately dispatched to save any victims that could be rescued. According to reports, the exact number of fatalities from the ship accident remains unknown. However, 
Rescue officials estimated that the victim count from this ship accident ranged between 2,750 and 3,920 deaths, with 700 to 1,000 survivors successfully rescued. In this accident, the Chinese government initiated an investigation to determine the cause of the explosion on the ship. The cause was suspected to be due to a mine left by the Imperial Japanese Navy during World War II within the ship. On September 26, 2000, a ferry named Express Semina departed from Piraeus port in Greece, carrying 473 passengers and 61 crew members. The ship was heading to Paros Island, a popular tourist destination in the Aegean Sea. However, what should have been a smooth journey turned into a nightmare when the ship hit a reef near the island and sank in less than half an hour, resulting in 81 deaths and hundreds of others injured or traumatized. What caused this tragedy? Was it weather conditions, technical errors or something else? According to the investigation conducted by experts, the primary cause of this disaster was the negligence of the crew who did not properly steer the vessel and ignored safety procedures. Here are some facts revealed from the investigation. Besides the negligence of the crew, there were other factors that exacerbated the situation, such as 1. Lack of maintenance and inspection of the ship, which was built in 1966 under the name course and had changed names and ownership several times before becoming Express Semina in 1999. Eyewitnesses reported that the ship's condition was very poor, with rust, cracks and leaks everywhere. 2. The slow reaction and coordination of the authorities, who did not immediately send help after receiving the emergency call from the ship. The first rescuers to arrive were fishing boats from the nearest port, followed by port authorities and Royal Navy ships, which were conducting NATO exercises in the area. The fact that some crew members did not assist passengers in evacuating the sinking ship also contributed to the death toll. 3. Lack of safety equipment and training on the ship, which did not have enough lifeboats, life jackets and emergency lights. Many passengers didn't know what to do or where to go when the ship started sinking. Some passengers even jumped into the sea without life jackets or lifeboats, hoping to reach the nearest island. This tragedy stirred anger and sadness across Greece and the world. Many demanded accountability and justice for the victims and their families. The Greek government declared a national day of mourning and promised a thorough investigation and punishment for those at fault. The Greek president at the time, Konstantinos Stephanopoulos, stated that this tragedy was a national disaster and a preventable calamity. The sinking tragedy of Express Semina is one of the worst maritime disasters in Greek and European history.